Did you know that 1 in 10 adults worldwide suffer from chronic kidney disease? That's right, millions of people walk around with potentially damaged kidneys, often without even realizing it. But here's the scary part. Kidney disease often goes unnoticed until the later stages, when it's much harder to manage. Your kidneys silently filter your blood, removing waste, and balancing essential minerals. But when they start to fail, the consequences can be life-threatening. High blood pressure, diabetes, and even common infections can put your kidneys at risk. But don't worry. The good news is that early detection is key. By recognizing the warning signs, you can take action to protect your kidneys and prevent serious complications. In today's video, we'll be diving deep into the 10 crucial warning signs of kidney failure you shouldn't ignore. Let's explore the science behind these symptoms, their potential causes, and what you can do if you experience any of them. So, let's begin. Number 1. Fatigue When your kidneys struggle to filter blood, waste products may build up in your body instead of being efficiently eliminated. This toxic overload can leave you feeling drained and sluggish. Research from the National Kidney Foundation supports this, highlighting that 70% of people with chronic kidney disease experience fatigue as a primary symptom. But there's more. Kidneys also produce erythropoietin, a hormone that stimulates red blood cell production. When kidney function declines, erythropoietin levels drop, leading to anemia. This deficiency in oxygen-carrying red blood cells further contributes to fatigue and weakness, affecting up to 80% of CKD patients, according to the American Society of Nephrology. The bottom line is that fatigue and weakness can be powerful indicators of potential kidney problems. So, if you experience persistent fatigue or weakness, especially when accompanied by other symptoms that you'll see in this video, consult a healthcare professional. But remember that while fatigue and weakness can be signs of kidney issues, they can also be caused by other conditions. Your doctor can help you determine the underlying cause and recommend appropriate treatment. Number 2. Changes in Urine Color Unusual changes in your pee can be an early red flag for kidney problems. Healthy urine looks like pale yellow or straw. But if your urine appears brown, orange, or even reddish, it might indicate the presence of blood protein, or other unwanted substances. This often happens when the kidney's filtering units, called nephrons, are damaged, allowing these components to leak into the urine. A 2022 study in the American Journal of Kidney Diseases reported that blood in urine, which is also known as hematuria, occurs in 20 to 30 percent of chronic kidney disease cases, often due to such nephron damage. While darker urine colors raise concerns, unusually light or clear urine can also be a hint of underlying issues. This extreme dilution might suggest overhydration, but it could also signify diabetes or other conditions affecting your body's ability to concentrate urine. Remember, interpreting urine color changes alone isn't enough. If you notice any color variations, especially alongside other symptoms like fatigue, swelling, or unusual urination patterns, don't delay seeking medical attention. Number 3. Changes in Urination Frequency While many factors can affect how often you go to the bathroom, changes in urination frequency might be a significant symptom of kidney problems, including potential kidney failure. Increased urination, especially at night, can occur when damaged kidneys struggle to concentrate urine effectively. This means that the excess fluid needs to be eliminated more frequently, causing frequent trips to the restroom. Studies suggest that up to 70% of people with advanced kidney disease experience increased urination. However, some individuals with kidney failure may urinate less frequently. This can happen when the kidneys are severely damaged and unable to produce enough urine, despite waste buildup in the blood. That excess fluid buildup can lead to edema or fluid buildup around your hands, arms, legs, feet, or face. Moreover, changes in urine volume, noticeably smaller or larger amounts of urine per visit, can also indicate kidney issues. Normal urination is generally considered to be around 1 to 2 liters per day. It may also vary based on fluid intake and activity levels. While abnormal urination can happen in polyuria, exceeding 2.5 liters of urine daily, and oliguria, in which urine volume is much lower than usual, typically less than 400 milliliters daily. Remember that changes in urination frequency alone don't necessarily mean kidney failure. However, it's crucial to consider these changes alongside other potential symptoms. Number 4. Foamy Urine Spotting foamy bubbles in your urine might seem harmless, but there might be a chance that your kidneys are not functioning properly. 
Normally, these tireless organs act as master filters, sieving out waste and toxins while keeping essential proteins locked in the bloodstream. However, when the filters malfunction, protein can slip through, creating a foamy appearance. Why is protein in your urine a concern? Research suggests that nearly 20% of individuals with chronic kidney disease experience foamy urine, also known as proteinuria. This leakage disrupts the delicate balance of fluids and proteins in your body, potentially leading to complications like swelling and high blood pressure. But, is foamy urine always a red flag? Not necessarily. Sometimes, vigorous urination or dehydration can cause temporary bubbles. However, persistent foaminess, especially when accompanied by other symptoms like fatigue, blood in urine, or changes in urination frequency, needs a closer look. Studies suggest that around 1 in 50 people experience foamy urine at some point, but it's important to note that not all cases are linked to kidney problems. Don't hesitate to seek medical attention if you notice consistent foamy urine. A simple urine test can confirm the presence of protein and help identify any underlying issues. Number 5. Swelling or Edema When kidneys fail to filter blood or produce urine, excess fluid can accumulate in unexpected places, leading to noticeable swelling, medically known as edema. This puffiness may appear in your face, hands, feet, ankles, and legs, affecting an estimated 20% of individuals with chronic kidney disease, according to a 2022 study. Two key factors play a role in fluid buildup in your body. One of them is overworked filters. When your kidneys struggle to remove waste products, water gets trapped instead of being flushed out. This excess fluid then leaks into tissues, causing swelling. The other main reason is the salt imbalance. Kidneys also regulate electrolyte or salt levels. In case of kidney failure, the concentration of salts might increase in the body. These extra salts tend to retain more water, further contributing to edema. Number 6. Breathlessness While you might not expect it, shortness of breath can sometimes be a red flag for potential kidney trouble. Breathlessness might be caused by fluid overload. Just like swelling, kidney problems can lead to pulmonary edema, where fluid might accumulate in your lungs. This can make breathing difficult even when resting. Research suggests that around 15% of individuals with chronic kidney disease CKD, experience pulmonary edema, according to a 2021 study in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology. Another reason is that when your kidneys struggle to function properly, they may not produce enough erythropoietin, a hormone that stimulates red blood cell production. This deficiency, known as anemia, can lead to oxygen deprivation in your body. To compensate, your lungs work harder to draw in more oxygen, causing rapid breathing. Healthy kidneys can efficiently maintain your body's pH balance. However, kidney dysfunction can lead to metabolic acidosis, a condition where your blood becomes too acidic. This imbalance can disrupt lung function, further contributing to shortness of breath. Number 7. Kidney Pain Never ignore kidney pain because it often indicates serious issues, including kidney stones, infections, declining function, and sometimes even kidney failure. Certain infections, like urinary tract infections, can damage kidney tissues and blood vessels, causing pain. Studies show that up to 20% of people with urinary tract infections have a degraded kidney function. Kidney inflammation, too, can cause fluctuating back pain. Kidney stones are sharp, crystalline structures that can obstruct urine flow, causing pain in the bladder or lower back. It has been estimated that around 1 in 10 adults experience kidney stones at some point in their lives. As kidney function declines, waste products can build up and irritate tissues, leading to a dull ache in the lower back. Number 8. Brain Fog When your blood contains too much waste products like urea and creatinine, a condition called uremia can happen, which occurs when your kidneys fail to properly filter them out, and the consequences extend far beyond your body, clouding your mind and causing brain fog. But what exactly is brain fog? It's not a medical condition, but rather a collection of cognitive issues that can feel like wading through mental molasses. People with brain fog often experience difficulty concentrating on simple tasks and memory problems, slow thinking, decision-making issues, and reduced alertness. This reduced mental sharpness can severely impact your work, studies, and daily life. Studies show that up to 80% of people with advanced kidney disease experience cognitive issues like these. It's important to note that brain fog can have various causes, but it's crucial to consider your kidney health, especially if accompanied by other symptoms. 
Moreover, urea toxins, such as urea and creatinine, can directly affect brain function, further contributing to foggy thinking and memory issues. Anemia and electrolyte imbalance, as discussed earlier, may also be the key factors in causing brain fog. So don't ignore these cognitive changes, seek medical advice to rule out any underlying conditions, including kidney problems. Addressing the root cause is crucial for managing brain fog and ensuring optimal brain health. Number 9. Muscle Cramps and Bone Pain While you might associate kidney problems with urine output, two seemingly unrelated symptoms can also raise red flags, muscle cramps and bone pain. Muscle cramps can happen due to electrolyte imbalance. When your kidneys struggle to remove waste products and maintain electrolyte balance, particularly calcium, potassium, and magnesium, these imbalances can disrupt nerve signals, leading to involuntary muscle contractions and painful cramps. Studies show that up to 70% of people with advanced kidney disease experience muscle cramps. Nerve damage can also cause muscle cramps and tingling sensation, particularly when waste buildup directly damages the nerves. As kidneys fail to function, they might lose their ability to regulate calcium and phosphorus levels in the blood. This imbalance can lead to bone disorders like osteoporosis, weakening bones, and making them more susceptible to fractures and pain. Research suggests that up to 40% of individuals with CKD experience bone pain. Impaired kidney function can also cause the parathyroid glands to overproduce thyroid hormones. This can further disrupt calcium and phosphorus levels, aggravating bone pain and increasing fracture risk. Number 10. Itchy Skin Itchy skin, also known as paratus, can be a common and frustrating symptom of kidney failure, especially in advanced stages. But how exactly do these two seemingly unrelated issues connect? During uremia, the buildup of toxins, including urea and creatinine, can irritate nerve endings in your skin, leading to intense itching. Furthermore, kidney problems can disrupt your skin's moisture barrier, making it look dry and itchy. This can get even worse if you have diabetes, which is often linked to kidney issues. Remember that itchy skin can have various causes, including allergies, dry skin conditions like eczema, and even certain medications. Therefore, it's crucial not to self-diagnose based solely on itching. So if you experience prolonged or intense itching, especially in combination with other symptoms like fatigue, swelling, or changes in urination, consult a doctor promptly. They can identify the underlying cause and recommend appropriate treatment. Remember, early diagnosis and treatment of kidney problems are essential not only for controlling associated symptoms like itching, but also to slow disease progression and prevent serious complications like heart disease, anemia, and bone problems. Some common tests for kidney function include Number 1. Blood tests Blood urea nitrogen, creatinine, and glomerular filtration rate assess waste removal by the kidneys. Number 2. Urine tests. Urine albumin to creatinine ratio detects the presence of albumin, a protein not typically found in urine, indicating potential kidney damage. Number 3. Imaging tests. Ultrasounds, CT scans, and MRIs reveal structural abnormalities in the kidneys. Ultrasound creates images of your kidneys to assess size, structure, and blockages, while CT scan or MRI provides detailed images of your kidneys and surrounding structures. Remember, these tests are screening tools, and a diagnosis should be made by a healthcare professional. Here are some important tips to help enhance your kidney function. High blood sugar and blood pressure are major risk factors for kidney disease. Manage blood sugar and blood pressure if you have these conditions. Maintain a healthy weight, because obesity increases the risk of kidney disease. Eat a kidney-friendly diet, limit sodium, potassium, and phosphorus intake, and prioritize fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water helps flush toxins and prevent dehydration, which can strain the kidneys. Quit smoking if you do, because smoking damages blood vessels and worsens kidney function. Avoid taking over-the-counter pain relievers or other medications too much especially excessive use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can harm the kidneys. Monitor your urine output. Decreased or bloody urine can indicate kidney problems. Get regular checkups. See your doctor for regular checkups and discuss your risk factors for kidney disease. By taking these steps and working with your healthcare professional, you can help protect your kidneys and maintain optimal health. Remember, even mild changes in your lifestyle can make a significant difference. 
Lastly, this video is for educational purposes only and does not substitute for professional medical advice. If you have any concerns about your kidney health, consult a healthcare professional for personalized guidance and diagnosis. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share it with everyone you care about. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.